Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about two topics. We're going to talk about uh, grouping URLs uh, with the prefix and we're going to talk about middlewares. Now, middlewares is a uh, kind of a big topic, so uh, in this video we're going to only touch we're going to touch only the beginning of it and to explain its uh, logic and how to implement it. And in the following videos we're going to uh, dive deeper inside uh, each and every middleware and see how it works and what it, uh, we can get from it. And also we're going to touch uh, a custom middleware uh, which gives us the power to do whatever we like uh, with, the, uh, with the HTTP requests. So if you're joining us uh, first uh, in this video, this is the code uh, we did up until now and if you don't have any idea what how did we came to this so please go and see uh, the first videos which show exactly how we did it uh, from scratch and or sorry you can uh, download from the link below the starting point of this video which will be this okay so uh, let's start with grouping so grouping is fairly simple uh, all we need to do is take the equal uh, object and create a group out of it uh, let's say prefix will be admin so all of the methods and endpoints uh, will be grouped under admin will have the same uh, middlewares or handling handling um, in our code uh, so let's just leave it uh, like this for now and let's uh, add a get method on our new group uh, let's say it will be the main page and uh, let's say let's call it the <coughs> the handler main admin let's create the handler it's uh, an exact uh, handler as we saw in the uh, in the first videos and uh, all it going to do is just for the sake of simplicity return a string with code um, 200 with let's say yeah say this so that's it actually let's go at our project let's define uh, my go path and let's define it to uh, here let's build the thing oops Right, and let's run it. Cool. So now let's go from our client. Uh, let's call our admin. Oops, admin and main page. And cool, we're getting a uh, two hundred and the message that we send that we are on the main admin page. Nice. So now let's see how this grouping is helping us uh, when we combine it with middlewares. Now, to understand middlewares, let's just imagine that the HTTP request is going through a pipeline once it's, it gets uh, to the server. And at the end of this pipeline, we have our handler uh, method that will do some kind of a process or will uh, present uh, uh, will respond with some kind of a data to the client now instead of doing authentication and stuff like that in each and every <coughs> handler a method and then ca they can go up to hundreds uh, we have middlewares so during uh, so inside this pipeline uh, we can use methods middlewares that will uh, take the HTTP request manipulate it, uh, do whatever uh, the middleware is uh, supposed to do with it and either pass it to the uh, next middleware, middleware 
all were rejected and uh, give it back to the client uh, and this is the process that will go on until either uh, the, the HTTP uh, request will be rejected or it will get to the client sorry to uh, the uh, handler method um, so in echo we have uh, pre uh, ready uh, some sorry some ready uh, uh, middlewares and it gives you also the possibility to create uh, your own custom middleware and uh, which can do whatever you uh, want to write it to do uh, so today we're going to see uh, one of the prepared echo uh, middlewares and we're going to see uh, a bunch of them much deeper in the uh, following videos and also the custom yeah so uh, to implement to add a middleware and let's just go on and see uh, some of echo's uh, prepared middlewares let's go to echo documentation and we can see we have basic auth, uh, body limit, course, CSRF, which is uh, security, uh, GZIP, uh, GWT, uh, logger, and such and such and such. So uh, this time we're going to see uh, the logger middleware. So to implement middleware, we need to import uh, Echo's middleware package. And now basically there are three ways to add a middleware uh, first you can add it to a group meaning uh, to the group uh, declaration uh, which would be look like that and if you go to group we can see we can add endless uh, number of middlewares so basically we can do um, can add here another one another one etc uh, the other way to do it is to to use the use method which will do exactly the same use method also gets an uh, infinite number of uh, middlewares and the last one is just to add the middleware directly to uh, our method uh, method uh, after the handler which if you go to see in the method we can see that the first uh, uh, input is path is a string path and then the handler and then infinite number of middlewares uh, personally I don't like the last uh, way to do it it's get it can get really messy and you can forget very easily what kind of middleware you added where um, it only works I guess when you have a custom uh, very lightweight middleware that does very specific thing to a very specific endpoint and then uh, maybe then I don't know and uh, from uh, well let's say on the group I would add only very simple uh, middleware like something really uh, straightforward and not something like this and I guess the best way is to use the use method and to add it uh, in this way this way you can document you you know you can add oops you can add comments example uh, and etc and it makes things are a lot clearer and uh, especially when things get bigger and bigger so we created our first uh, middleware which is a logger which will log every interaction uh, with the server so um, now we can go build it run it and now when we send our request let's send a couple you can see we got a bunch a bunch of logs and uh, you see that the host is localhost and method is get the uri is admin main status is 200 whatever 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 bytes in bytes out and latency stuff like that 
Now, to be honest, I don't like the format of this. It just looks um, very messy and not clear. So let's change it. So in each of almost, oh, sorry, in each of the echoes prepared uh, middlewares, you also have uh, the width config option, uh, sorry, method for, uh, uh, for a middleware where you can pass an object of configurations and then you can use this middleware, uh, you, you can, uh, sorry, you can con uh, configure uh, your middleware to whatever you want. So in this case, we're going to use uh, the middleware. So let's see first what it gets. It gets a uh, config, which is a logger config object, object which is uh, this struct with have a skipper, a format, which is a string, output, so you can uh, define it where to output uh, the logs. For example, uh, you can output by default to std out, but you can output also to a file or something of that order. Um, so let's create this object and configure our logger. So let's uh, say uh, it's called logger config. And you can see then when you, when you start to configure uh, something like that inside the use method, this is becoming kind of, becoming kind of messy. So think about if we had four or five middlewares like that, and you can see why I like to use uh, this structure, not and sell it uh, directly to uh, to the group. Yeah, so let's use format and let's say that we want to let's open brackets for the time and let's go to the logger object, right? And see we want the RFC time and if you want you have an explanation also in the documentation for an example so i need a dollar and a curl braces so let's do that let's insert time now let's do a couple of spaces let's do the status code Let's do the method. And let's go and do the host, I guess, even though in real life maybe the remote IP would be nice, but this would be local hosts now. So this doesn't really have any impact. And let's print the path without any spaces because I want it to be a one with the host and let's just I don't know let's put the latency to see the time I guess that could be nice readable to humans okay that looks good now uh, another thing to remember they need to add a new line here so backslash and then n otherwise this will all be in the same line and we need a column at the end that looks nice let's do a new line build it run it and now You see, we get a nice output uh, of the logs with the time, uh, the status code, method, our host, and uh, everything is very nice and ordered. Okay, guys, so this is a very first taste of uh, middlewares. Um, there's a bunch, a bunch of other middlewares, and a lot of, and most of them uh, have a lot of content uh, behind those and we're going to go through most of them um, in the following videos and also we're going to touch obviously the custom middlewares uh, but I think this is a nice point to start it um, so that was it 
hope you enjoyed this video and please join me for my next videos in this series.